Yes, buoys arrived at Eagle Pass, which is one of the busiest border patrol sectors. On Friday, an installation of them in the river has already started in a high-risk area. Um, you know, this is an area that they've seen a lot of activity, and they want to make the activity stop from crossing right there. So they're putting in these buoys there to uh, to stop crossings in that area and force them to go other where other places where we'll have that advantage to make those apprehensions. According to the International Boundary and Water Commission, they were not informed of the plan by Texas Governor Greg Abbott. In a statement saying in part, quote, We are studying what Texas is publicly proposing to determine whether and how this impacts our mission to carry out treaties between the U.S. and Mexico regarding border delineation, flood control, and water distribution, which includes the Rio Grande, end quote. We reached out to Governor Abbott's office for comment but have not gotten a response. Cleveland, a former Border Patrol worker, says a resolution is needed, especially for the people dying. It's a solvable problem. It really is. And the ones that are that are being, you know, trafficked, um, that die in the desert, they're the ones that are that are suffering the most. Terrell County deals with fewer migrants than places further west like El Paso and Eagle Pass, but it does not change the impact of deaths on people like Cleveland. Like so like last year, seventeen we had die here in Terrell County, I put 15 of them myself in, in a body bag. And, uh, you know, the, 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 it's, they're, it's a human life, regardless if they're here legally, illegally, or it's, a, I mean, just, it's a human life. So we don't want to see anybody die. The state of Texas has been sued over the use of these buoys by a kayaking and canoeing business owner, stating that the buoys would cause imminent and irreparable harm to his business. The plan has also received some backlash for the potential environmental concerns. The buoys will also have netting that will be anchored to the riverbed. Governor Greg Abbott has continued pushing for the buoys to be installed, and he welcomes the lawsuit. On Twitter, he said that Texas has a right to secure its border. For CBS 7 First Alert News, I'm Jensen Young.